Hello, everybody. Welcome to Squad Ops. It's Saturday night. Well, late Saturday for some of you. This is Operation Rising Ghosts. Uh, tonight I'm joined by Satan. Say hello, Satan. Hey, everyone. So tonight's operation is one of our one and dones for the month of October. Uh, it's part of our scary, spooky ops. And uh, as you can see, it's going to take place here on the Gordok map with the mist on it. So it's going to be kind of a dark layer. Uh, Rush is getting ready. It looks like they're doing their little pre-brief before the uh, platoon brief. So we've got a, quite a bit of assets going on here. Even though it's the infantry layer, uh, we've spawned in some vehicles, which, as you saw in the uh, metal monsters, they can be stolen by the other team if they're left abandoned. So that might be an interesting twist tonight. Let's take a look at, let's take a look at what the... Uh, the operation's all about. Uh, Russia gets uh, two ARs, a GL, a couple LATs, and a medic. The uh, militia gets uh, two ARs, a LAT, medic. They also get four scouts, so IEDs and mines might play a difference tonight. Uh, militia gets a lot of mobility. Yeah, right? <laughs> uh, they get uh, two discotechies, SBG, techie, a tran techie, a logi, uh, MTLB. They also get a motorbike. And Russia only gets two MTLBs, a trans, and a logi. And both teams get a fob, so mortars and all this fun stuff. Uh, militia basically has to pick either Soloniki or a Kim to set up their fob at. That's the village that they're going to defend. And Russia has to find out which location they're set up at. And once they do, then try to go in there and remove those ghosts. What do you think about this op, Satan? What do you think is going to happen tonight? I think with the militia's mo mobility, it's going to be pretty tough for the Russians to really uh, get a foothold in some of the areas. Um, if they choose to hit Soloniki first, then they might be able to get a foothold, but it really depends where we see Militia put out most of their troops. If they've got a lot of guys just in flanking positions or ambush positions, then I'm pretty sure we're going to see a lot of Russian casualties pretty uh, early on. Yeah, it's going to be again, a bloody one, I can see that. Take care of it. Yeah, absolutely. It's, once once you're in future, once you're in combat, it's going to be kind of in your face okay, because the mist is going to be kind of close. And then the bridges, I think, are going to play a key part in this one because they will funnel the team, the Russians, from crossing over no matter what side the militia picks, you know, the north or the south. So let me see if they set mines on the far side, if they put IEDs in the buildings or they use those to skirmish them off the opposite side of the river or what they do. A lot of a lot of different moving parts in this one. It's going to be kind of hard for us to keep up with all the movement. There's absolutely no reason yeah, to if I was I was if I was on the Russian side, I would be terrified for mines. Uh, it right. is no other, any other terrifying questions? getting hit by those. Just yeah, right. screen going Once directly to happens, black. That means we're just from just seeing a little rock on the road. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right. It is it is really horrible. A really dangerous rock at that. So tonight we got several different cameras. Uh, kind of scrolling through them now you can see different points of view from the ground we got the full uh professional oh, entertainment right. network or the pen system in in operation so, tonight we, we could probably be a little bit closer but uh that's the so you're gonna see uh see their name in the right hand corner a uh, flag behind their name to let you know what side they're on either oh. militia or russian uh, oh. when you're watching me and satan uh, where, uh the guys in blue are gonna be russians and the guys in red are gonna be militia both rounds so that's uh help you guys out and see what's going on a lot of vehicles too, so like I said, they can be stolen. So we'll, we'll try to keep track of that for you guys because it'll be kind of hard to pick out the targets if they decide to, if the Russians decide to load up into a uh, techie and turn it on the militia. Looks like they're still doing some uh, pre-briefings here. Uh, well, let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at the vehicles they got here. That's how like the other team. Some sweet screenshots. Hey, and moral support, you know, that goes one way. Yeah. I mean, you can always you, you can also this. always try to find it. You can always also try to find an enemy vehicle or an enemy emplacement. Take some risk and try and find those, and maybe you can take over one of those and use that to damage people. If you're using their oh, ammo you then. Pew, pew. <laughs> you yeah. can try that as well. Pew pew. Also, places with a driver of a vehicle who does have ammo. Yeah, let's have a look at some of these vehicles. 
So they get one transtruct. These two MTLBs. And one Logi. So these are the Russian vehicles. Now these MTLBs can take some uh, some hits from lat, but remember it's two two heat rounds and it will burn out a uh, a uh, MTLB. So if you get hit by two heat rounds, that's that MTLB destroyed. Um, so the, these are going to be their main armored vehicles for this round. It takes quite a few troops in, but it has pretty low, um, pretty low uh, armament compared to some other vehicles in squad. Um, and then I guess their only two other vehicles they have for mo mobility are the See, transport the truck and the logistics truck. Yeah, those MTLBs are really noisy too, so... If you're the militia, you can hear them from a distance and get prepared for their arrival. They're yeah. basically right, right, riding around in an empty beer can too. You know, two two hits from RPGs and yes, it's on fire. Yeah, they are the loudest vehicle in the game. Okay, so. Hmm. Under Arbo, actually no, under Silas, Silas is going to have all the assets, Gonzo, Grimble, and Faux Fire, it's going to be under Yeah, All right, so Russian platoon brief is now just yeah. starting. Right, so we're gonna go ahead and listen into this, and see what plan they're gonna have up for this uh, this first round. I'm not. I don't remember who, but one of your guys got stuck. He was climbing and something, uh, and he had to type the respawn command. So it wasn't like explicitly against the rules. So I just told him not to do it again, because it's people get stuck a lot doing that. So can I get a? Can someone repeat what they just said? I just got back. Oh, just one of the one of the guys got stuck and he has to respawn. I'm just letting them know, just so I, I if they're just like, oh, I had to respawn for whatever reason, you know exactly why. All right, everyone, everyone spawned in. There you go. No. Uh, no, all right, we're just waiting a few more people. Yeah. To see them coming over here. Okay. So Russian command's gonna be Larue. I'm just waiting on a few more guys, but here is the map of Gorodok. Um, they have two main objectives, which we'll see being uh, mentioned in the uh, command brief. You have Soloniki, which is in Hotel 11, and Akim, which is in Lima 4. So let's go ahead and listen to this now. This is op uh, sorry, excuse me. This is session two, round one. We are the Russians, and we have been tasked clearing out the filthy militia. Uh, they can either start in one of two locations. We're going to mark on the map right now. So they can either start in Soloniki or Akim. Friendly the that we're gonna, Yeah, the way that we're going to tackle this problem is Squad 1 is going to take the first MTLB. Squad 2 is going to take the second MTLB. Squad 3 and 4 are going to load up the trans. And I'm going to take three people in the Lodgy. All of our vehicles are going to drive directly out of Maine, uh, about northeast all the way to where you see them marked on the map, just south of Neva Upper. I, however, are going to take the Lodgy uh, just south of that position to the Sniper Mark Hill. From there, I'll be able to get eyes on Solaninki and see if they're actually there. If we decide that the enemy are in fact there, we're going to pull our forces back south to about Foxtrot 10. We are going to set up a fob with mortars. From there, we are going to push these squads uh, probably to the bridge near uh, the lower bridge uh, near the uh, snipe, the uh, MG mark. We're going to use our infantry to cross with our MTLBs covering. Once we cross the lower bridge, squad 3 will take the north hill, squad 4 will take the south hill. Once we deem it secure, we're going to drive our two MTLBs over with their infantry loaded, of course. And then the trans and logi will follow. 
That is if they are not on. That is if they are on Soliniki. From there, we will assault the positions and we will eliminate them all. If I deem that they are not on Soliniki, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have all of our vehicles cross the same way with Squad Three taking the North Hill, Squad Four the South Hill. Then the MTLBs and the Trans and Lodgy will follow. From there, we will regroup in our vehicles and go directly south to the 12 column. We are going to take the 12 column all the way over to Lima 12, and we are going to regroup on the road. From there, we are going to walk our vehicles all the way up the road to just south of the intersection near uh, Lima 9. From there, we are going to send Squad 1 and 2 to clear out the mound, with MTLB support and infantry covering them as they move up. Once we have cleared the mound, we're going to drop a friendly fob inside with mortar support. Then we're going to walk our four or three and a half squads north of the MSR running up the Mike Lima column. We're going to walk them all the way up to about Mike 3, Mike 4 area. From there, we're going to use mortar support to rein in on the town while we walk our infantry in a platoon line style with MTLBs firing over their heads. If at all you get separated during this, uh, we have regroup stages, like I mentioned. Uh, those are the places to regroup with friendly forces. Remember, if you're moving out, you must be with, with a buddy or within 50 meters of a friendly squad mate. Other than that, uh, if my SLs don't have anything else to say, we're going to uh, we're gonna prep for live. I have a question. Does anyone have a speech? Yeah, we have speech. Wait, first, before we do speech, that, speech, before we do that, yeah, remember, in-train vehicles a... must utilize bridges. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So right. remember, uh, we must use. Yeah. What's the question? Uh, can the militia forces cross the river? Like, can we can I we mean... expect contact on our side of the river? Possibly. Uh, yeah. Oh, they decide yeah. They to. can cross, but they must use bridges as well. Yep. Yeah. Copy. They could take over. Uh, hey, well, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, you said uh, Lima Mike line. Do you mean Mike November line? On the east? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I, nor, yeah, we're going to be in the... To the Mike right of that November. MSR. Yeah, to the right of the yeah, MSR, right. to the east of it. Great. All right, we have intel on their vehicles. I did not read them. <laughs> yes. They, uh, <laughs> techies and MTLB. Yeah, they have techies, MTLBs, and motorcycles. So the reason yeah, why... The SPGs. So, yeah, even if they are spawning in the north fob in Akeem, the reason I want to walk my infantry over the bridge is in case they try and sneak their scouts down, get some sneaky little mines before we can reach the bridge. So, so I should look for mines. Yeah. I'll be right back. Let's not delay round one and have a vehicle drive over a mine and have the second one then blow up. That would not be ideal. All right. But, um... I was told that I was not supposed to do an inspirational speech anymore, but uh, just remember, we take no L's in your hearts, boys. We take no L's. Oh, you said it, man. We take no you L's. said it. I was cool with the speech. Speech. No, oh, no, inspirational no L's. L's. I got back at the right time. Nudes, not nudes. No inspiration alert. Damn. Uh, get mounted up and let's form our column. Oh, I guess that was the All end right. of the Russian brief, huh? Yeah, yeah. So we got an idea of where it's going to go down then. Silent, I just want you and your medic with me. So um, we can see that the Russians are going to go plan to go hit Neva Upper first to look down into Saloniki. Looking on the map, you can see that there are already um, militia placed on Saloniki, so... It's going to go down there. I can see it getting like pretty said, bloody on that bridge, that position he mentioned upper. just on uh, off, Gulf 9 the here. This is the, the southern bridge, bridge he mentioned. Yeah, so again, pulling his squads across on that, on the MCLBs, I can so see that getting really watching. messy uh, if, if the militia do push it north to hit him uh, while, while he crosses the bridge. So let's see how this goes down. All right, well, the militia have set up over here. looks like they've got their uh, vehicles lined up. It looks like they've got a little wolf pack, we've been calling these things, uh, set up here. Uh, these technicals. The SPG techie is up there on your screen. You can see that it's got a lot of firepower. These things are kind of like the hunter killers of MTLBs and uh, the other thin armored vehicles of the Russians. Uh, they're quick. 
Uh, that's why we call them wolf packs. They come in, attack, and then leave, and then hit them again. The SPG, a good gunner for range, can take out those uh, MTLBs no problem. Uh, you know, that self-propelled is uh, pretty flat as far as trajectory goes, so it doesn't take much. You can get a couple shots on the MTLB and take it down real quick. So, <laughs> this is Squad Ops. Uh, we play uh, the game of Squad. We run low and knife events. Check us out at squadops.gg if you're just tuning in and wondering what the heck's going on. And here's the Dishka Techie for you. Same thing, another fast vehicle, as you can see. It's kind of hard to keep up with. It's got that uh, shielded Dishka on it. So, once again, more firepower at range. Get that mobile fire platform moving around. And these guys are just hauling. They, they want to get into action. They got a spot to go to, apparently. Looks like these guys right. are, have some place to the north here. Yeah, I can see how I can see where first contact might occur. We have the MTLBs and a transport truck coming in towards Neva Upper. That is the uh, the town that's just on my screen now. It looks like I'm gonna use the train track to uh, push down to the um, the bridges down to the southeast. So let's see if uh, a lot of contact arises from this. Uh, it's a big push on the Russian side, so concerning the forces around ne Neva Upper, just so that they can look down into uh, Saloniki before the big push. There's some guys right, jumping just... off. All right, 360 security, base south, base south. Don't, don't, don't skyline. skyline. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it happens here. It looks like the militia have already kind of suspected that bridge push. So they're setting up some uh, troops down here. Got this dish cab moving through the woods, being ghost-like, I guess. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they can hear the MCLBs coming up. They are incredibly loud. This guy's got a really good vantage point up here. Oh, it looks like he's running people over now. You can see the militia or the Russians there in the distance. They're the blue guys. Yeah, I got it's eyes on cool Russian pushing. command. Looks like he's looking across the uh, the river the, now. Just like I said, let's just see if he notices anything. Like uh, it's a. Uh, it looks like a lot of the militia guys are back in town. They're not exactly peeking in the valley where he has eyes on. So let's see if he notices anybody. This could lead to a big blunder if he thinks that they are not at Saloniki and they pull up north or try and pull past uh, Saloniki. And they think that uh, nobody... Oh, the coldest went out apparently. They, they just saw contacts on Saloniki, so it's going to go down here, as I uh, suspected. No, we're, we're just sitting tight for now. If you got an extra bit of build points, you yeah, split them between you and Sightless. All right, Russians just... The Russian don't, command just don't, said uh, they will press. drop a fob on their position. The um, so let's see how they're going to use their assets to uh, maneuver on that position. I am looking at the Russians. They haven't moved out yet, but they are uh, just formulating a plan exactly where they're going to head out. So we got the two MTLBs and transport no, truck here. They, 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 yeah, they're they're so they're comes, gonna pull out. To the, uh, we saw a full team in so northwest first before they move out anywhere from here. Right, 
I think they can run. I think it could be a fake, like last game. Yeah, no, it could definitely be a fake. My squad did that. We threw uh, two fake trances out, so the enemies are still in the wrong position. Yep. All right. So we mentioned previously um, how dangerous the militia are to vehicles. They have mines down. And uh, I can see you on place at the other side of a bridge. Well, I mean, once everyone dismounts. As in, I can see it on the map, but I cannot yeah, see okay, it okay. on All my right. screen. It's it's pretty much hidden from view, so it's going to be very difficult for the uh, the Russians to find it. It should be right in front of my screen. I just can't see it. So that's this is how deadly they are. One one hit on a mine will take down any vehicle in the game. So let's see how they work their way around this. This is this was one of their right, objectives for them to push the across this small exposed bridge. There. So I'm excited to see what happens. Yep, they're okay. gonna funnel them in and hopefully that mine will yeah, destroy a vehicle if they try to cross it. Oh man, yeah. That would that that would definitely <laughs> stop my advance if I was in a uh, in a armored like column said, with MTLBs trying to cross a bridge. You just need lat and one mine on the other side, and it is it is over. Yeah, it looks like Rush is kind of just setting up and just kind of getting ready to maybe sit, put down a fob or something. Um, guys are watching Hamleet now. Yeah, I heard that Larue is going to drop it down on his location. Um, so we'll see if they do anytime soon. I know he wants to put down a mortar, um, which will definitely be in range for um, for Soloniki and any of the troops near the bridge. Um, so it'll be a pretty good position for a mortar. He might even think to put down some heavy guns on this side of the river as well. That could easily suppress any militia fortifications on their side of the bridge on the east side. Um, and he could even hit Soloniki from here as well. So he can do some massive damage from this side of the uh, the, uh, the river. So it's a good commanding position to have a fob. Just following LaRue right now. Let's see where he goes. Yeah, but they they have limited ammo, so... Once they burn all those mortar rounds, that fob's going to be useless to them. So hopefully they, they can score some good hits and allow them to breach and get across one of those two bridges there. It looks yeah. like the entire platoon's kind of like sitting back there right now in the fob area. Negative, it's not. Negative, it's not. Alright, someone get inside that lodge and I need I need to drop a fob right here. Evan, yeah. I need people so to So he's so uh he's saying he's gonna drop a fob I'm, my squad's right now. Let's see how this goes. This map Whoever's is pretty pretty good for um for using mortars. There are a few uh buildings, but they have many entrances. So it's out. uh it's pretty open for the mortars to do a lot of damage. Uh the militia would have to fortify a uh all right, quite a the, um, uh, transport. quite a large area in the open just to try and give more of their their troops more of a chance of surviving. But the mortars are going to do a lot I'll, of damage uh, there, I'm sure. I'll drop this lodgy. A firm, I'm going to get down for birds. All they need to have is a competent uh, squad lead or or command All right, and down. someone who knows how to use a mortar, and they can do a lot of damage. Mortar down. Fire. Okay. Yeah, Canada, you're on vehicle. So, have you heard any contacts recently? I haven't heard any shots. Doesn't look like we haven't made first contact. No, I think they're both kind of waiting each other out. The militia know that they have to push across the bridge. And they've got that wolf pack that we saw in the beginning that's moved all the way far north. They're watching the north bridge. So. Yeah, yeah, Muff is up there, you see him now. They're just sitting there waiting to see if the Russians are going to come that way. And I imagine once the um, Russians commit to a bridge crossing, they're going to come sweep in behind them and take out their vehicles or maybe even raid that fob location. 
Yeah, it's pretty easy to do once you're on a bridge or once you're near one of the bridge positions. It's a very open uh, position to push into. It's, I am sure we're going to see a lot of Russians go down. Um, if he does, if, if, I'm sure Muff is on a location where they, uh, they think if they try and hit up to a Kim or near around there to flank... Um, that position would be covered by the mine and that little wolf pack. But uh, I know the position that the Russians were talking about previously is already covered by militia. It's going to be very bloody for them. Yeah. The southern bridge is going to be a bad one to cross. So Yeah, I don't well, like it. Bad one for them, but fun one for the guys watching. <laughs> Hell yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you were copy. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there you go. He just Did said say there was an MW or were they asking the original plan still stands, so uh, they will be using this bridge. Point one, south and even lower, like G nine four eight. Then we'll once we're all staged, we'll roll the vehicles in. Squad one and the two MTLBs will provide cover. Squad two and three are going to be crossing. So we're going on if you guys are wondering how to join us, uh, yeah, check us out at squadops.gg, and uh, all you have to do is go through a basic, an SOTT basic. Me and Satan are both instructors of that. Learn uh, how to communicate with your squad leaders and the rest of your squad members, and you can join us in the ops. Uh, join our Discord, ask questions there if you got anything else. We're also giving away a uh, squad key. Uh, the developers of squad gave us some keys to give away, and all that information is on our Discord. So check us out there and read up. Whoever was on Burns. Yep, I want your sense with Burns. Probably the medic. I want Cantador on Burns. All right, they're rolling out orders now for the Russian side. Let's see what the battle order is. It sounds like they're going to be pushing an infantry first to the western side of the uh, the bridge, and then they're going to bring up um, the armored vehicles, the two MTLBs, in behind the infantry. And I believe Squad One is going to be in position on the west side of the river, just to get the other squads some covering fire Lower and but there is not us. much cover um say again they would be able to give them some covering fire but i'm pretty sure the militia and rush are gonna exchange a few shots a few guys on this hill that i'm uh, viewing from are probably gonna go down and then looking at the bridge where the infantry are gonna have to secure it is incredibly open. So this is... Yeah, so squad 1, 2, and 3 are moving their infantry. I am the not feeling good about this from the Russian perspective. Yeah. We've yeah, seen some yeah. bridge crossings down here at the, the train southern bridge area in the past. So it'll be yeah. fun to see if uh, they can pull it off. We've seen some, some miracles happen where they've gotten squads over with very little casualties. And then we've seen total slaughter. So yeah. Whenever I've made a uh, bridge crossing, it's it's with no contact on the other side. All the times where there's been contact, I either forget the bridge or um, or just all die trying to cross it. Looks like the militia is kind of starting to anticipate a possible bridge push. They've moved a buddy team out here. One of these guys is a lat. They've come out here on the train bridge, so... Well, see what happens. The infantry are moving up. You can see two, squad two, three, and one moving up to the north towards the train tracks. So let's see if they get set up here. I'm following three and two. One is just in the woods there. Let's see if we can pop them up. The yep, there bridge. they are. That's one, two, and three. Squads one, two, and three just moving north to the train tracks and they're going to try and secure that western side of the bridge. I'm going to keep your stamina draw above middle and it regenerates faster. Yeah. See that? Let's oh. cross radio tower. That's going to be fun. The entire Hold! <laughs> Change of plans again, it sounds like, yeah. jeez. Yeah, I just got that call. They, um... They're going we're, for okay, radio tower bridge. We're getting bridge in the then, trans now and we're going to radio which tower Which the militia bridge. have covered. All right, can you so it's, uh... Trans... It doesn't matter where they uh they try and slice it. It's gonna it's gonna hurt. Driving so close to the bridges. You said need a look. The only thing that's covering them right at this point is that well, no, never mind. It's, it looks like they got a truck. They just spotted that truck moving around. Oh, for sure, I was, yeah. I was gonna say that the mist would help them in that this maneuver, but they drove that truck really close to the bridge. Yeah. I think it blew their whole movement there. Yeah, I'm not sure what the driver is thinking right there.
I do the same principle. You know, field bees will cover with squad one, but squad two may cross that bridge. So it's going to take him a, a bit of time to get set up for the radio tower bridge. It's the one that's in the north. It is actually covered by two mines on the other side. So, man, this is going to be a mess. Oh, I was wondering if there's were two mines or if there's a mine in an IED. The transport's yeah, there. I'm looking at the mine right now. They have a... Um, That's fine. You got a small rock here, which the, the scout can place down to kind of distract right. you. And then you can see the... The little yeah, pad here, in. the pressure pad they, that will set off the mine. This, um, this little red pad that's into the ground here that the scout has actually dug into the road. It's so it's we'll see, very like, difficult to spot. Nice, nice, nice. You killed two. You killed two. Those mortars are doing work on the militia here. They just, that one mortar round just took out two guys. Yeah, I just heard that over comms. Where did that hit? Shifting. That hit That's on the one. ridge that was east of the train bridge. It looks like it took out a squad leader. Okay. The one with the techie on, right? Yep. And it looks like they're retreating off the hill now. Yeah, I can see two casualties. That's one squad lead, and uh, it looks like a grenadier. Someone with a white line on the helmet. Ooh. Pretty close incoming. Those yep. mortars do so much damage. Yeah, the precision of those first two rounds was really intense. I don't think the, anybody could have done any better than that. That was right on top of those guys in that knoll. They had no chance. Yeah. So they're still scanning for more targets for the mortars. It's, it's, uh, it's pretty good for the Russians to uh, spot that, that position. Bridge. It was a kind of a, it was a pretty exposed position that the militia took, the one that the just got hit by the mortar. Um, so if they've taken wait, wait, that one wait, out, they only really have to deal with the guys in the train cars. Hiding in the train cars. So they are just talking about the engaging the train bridge, so this is a good call on the bridge Russian or closer command. to them. Let's see how this works out. I see a couple, three people. Let me get a grip. Oh no. He just called up a part of the bridge which is directly on top of who's this? Delstrom. So he called up a keypad on the map. It's directly on top of Delstrom. Let's see if the mortar lands directly on top of him. I think we need to wait a bit before they get ranged in. But it's a good call on mortars. Let's see if it does some damage to them. Let's get those MTLBs in fire. I think I see the MTLB. I'm gonna get a view angle. It's a very precarious bridge to uh, engage from. Yeah, they're all crawling on that. But this poor guy might get a mortar yeah, landing on top of his head. I'm trying to see right, if I can see. H1049, drop when ready. H1049. Do you want Jenga? You got the dish gun getting some here, Russian right? infantry on the west stopped. side of the bridge. We do have the mortar firing out two, uh, two rounds. There's a techie on first fire mission. Here they go, sent. Two rounds out. Should be 20 seconds to splash. Let's see if it hits the bridge. Here they Have come. Engaged, technically? Can, I, can my guy the DC get back in? Oh. Server. Good mortars. mortars. Oh, they weren't Server. engaging the bridge. Can you come back in? Apparently they were looking at Only the uh, the small storage, a gas, a, uh, a gas storage area. Like an industrial that? area there. Well, the Russians have moved uh, two squads here to this uh, radio tower bridge. 
it's, it's moving I found that mine and I found the ID so they planted on the east side of it. All right. Well, Russians are making a move on the northern bridge now. Let's see who's the first to get across. Now remember, the mine will not do any damage to a uh, infantry member who steps on it. It will only do damage to vehicles. So the infantry will pass fine, but those vehicles won't. Unless the infantry spots those mines. Alright, can I get a fire button? Say again. I'm looking, I don't see anyone right now. So we got the uh, MTLBs coming in from the uh, bottom left of my, my uh, screen here. I'm gonna be using these vehicles as uh, fire support while they cross this open bridge. Alright, get ready to cover, put covering fire for them, guys. Hey, get some decent spacing. Make sure you have stamina. Spread out, spread out. See, so definitely kills a couple I'm watching more. from the Russian perspective to see what it looks like crossing a bridge. Squad, Just looks like two Russians on the other, I'm sorry, two militia on the other side, so. Right. I might make this. Okay, if you want to mortar those two positions I gave you, that's perfect. But I mean, I, I didn't see anyone there for a while. Squad 2, get ready to cross. Squad 2 and 3, get ready to cross now. Alright, Russian infantry have Squad made two, it to the uh, One, eastern side of the bridge. Do you need a fire mission? And the same, mines in. are right, push, push. Let's go. just get to the front of my two, camera here, so let's see if they do notice them. MTLBs are still getting ready to cover. A fire mission, get prepped. They are looking for mines. I, I I see them with shovels out. Oh, ho, ho. all right. So it's not you're not able to tell if on the camera if it's a mine or a uh, an IED. That was an IED. Went off too early. Silent. Let me know when you crossed. No, I'll send mics over. Don't think any Russians were injured in that. East. Get across, squad two now. Get across, squad two now. Let's go. Get across. So they're engaging the uh, militia to their All east. Around. It's only two guys. I can only see one on my screen here. Maybe one went down. Prep fire mission. I eight eight eight. I eight eight eight. Drop one when ready. Squad two, I need you across that bridge. Oh, that Let's is go. a Get militia lat. So. This guy is a, uh, a danger to any of the NCLBs crossing. Remember, he two, will hold two on, heat rockets, so he's thing? able to take down one NCLB Got before him. he goes down. Squad three will follow right after you sign. One out, one out. Hey, firm, walk those mortars in, boys. Us two the out. Okay, hey, firm. That's fine. Uh, walks mortars in sil uh, squad three and one. Squad two. All right, squad three, get ready to cross. Yeah, yeah. We, we're protecting for mortars, right? There is a mine. There is a mine. Mine's uh, at the end. All right. Of they just right, found the, the mine, mine. so if that's. They can, uh, if not, let's get ready to move our vehicles across. Uh, it's a big win for the Russians. Then they did find the mine. They will take it down. Squad three is moving. How are those? How are those mortars? Looks like militia is going to you know, adjust to that. Yeah, Bring up the uh, discotheque really in the south there, and it looks like uh, the wolf pack is ready for those vehicles. They're just they're trying to locate them right now. Yeah, I was just gonna say it always helps to be very diligent, especially on a map like this with low visibility. So I'm just uh, they are digging up the mine now. Yeah, you don't you don't want to you know commit your beer cans to get scrunched by the uh, you know the MTLBs. You want to get the opportune moment to ambush them. Exactly, because those techies will not stand up to an MTLB, but if they do hit them in force or are able to hit them from a concealed location, then they could probably take one or two out if they're good enough. 
Yeah, it looks like they've crossed the bridge. They a little too late now. So yeah, the guys you were pretty much unopposed with this bridge crossing. That's how I would prefer it. You can so see uh, most of the Russians the are on the left-hand side of the screen. This is the uh, eastern side of the bridge. They're just the bringing up the south? MTLBs now to Negative, cross the bridge. North. Copy. Let's go ahead and watch this MTLB as it crosses and crosses. Merrick, get over here. You get in cover. Unless you're good there. I don't want you dying. I am going back a little bit to this uh, foliage. I want you guys looking northeast right, to so south. I'm pretty sure a lot of the Russians here on the little, eastern side of the river are feeling pretty exposed. But luckily for them, they are unopposed. Merrick. There are only two militia men on their side of the river nearby. The Russians have dealt with, dealt with the uh, IED, took no ca casualties from that, and uh, dealt with the mine. So pretty solid work. They've been... Oh, looks like they're engaging. Looks like they were engaging a tree or a rock. Well, those can be dangerous too, you know. Oh, no, no, no. They are. They're, they are engaging uh, a guy. Out, 20 seconds. How many? There you go. Unknown. Is it on radio tower? So, yeah, they're engaging the uh, this turtle guy. Okay, just let me know because I'm ready to move. He is just a militia it's AR. It's on radio tower. It's southeast. On the moon border. Alright, well you can see that there are more militia set up on... Uh, Kind of contest the uh, the crossing now. A little bit late, but let's uh, let's see how um, let's see how the militia do. Now I think they're gonna send mortars into Radio Tower, which is the station that, out of that I'm looking at now. But apparently it is yeah. out of mortar, uh, out of range for the mortar. So I guess uh, someone Juliet eight four four. I don't know how accurate that is, but that is uh, straight east of my squad. Alright, are we all set across the river? Yes, this is squad one, we're good. Hey, firm, let's get ready to push south. Okay, so the Russians are going to decide to go south, south from here. Yeah, we're going to all move south now. Yeah, you guys are out of mortar coverage. Now, what do you think, Expert? Do you think they'll deal with the contact to their east, or, or are they going to hit them? Uh, are they going to be a thorn in the side of the Russians? I think they're going to probably ch the, the Russians are probably going to chase that militia contact, and they got the the wolf pack. The militia wolf pack is coming up behind them now on the west side of the bridge. Yeah, we're getting really close. We're going to have to go that direction anyway, so I want you guys to switch. Oh, I can see a pins are happening. Right, yeah, that, that, if they can get across that bridge or be on the other side with their te te technicals that have got that Jishka technical in the SBG, they might be able to do some damage to these exposed troops along the river here. Definitely. Um, just notice on the eastern side, the militia have a shielded Dishka techie um, on an overwatch position watching down towards uh, the Russians. And it looks like the Russians are just going to the south. I'm not going to deal with the threat to the east. Where's a good stage Don't know about the threat to uh, the west and the other side of the river. So let's see uh, how it uh, pans out for them. It hasn't. We haven't seen a lot of contact yet. It's been pretty slow. Just a couple wins on the Russian side, taking out those mines and uh, surviving the IED. Let's yeah. see how this goes. In it might be playing in. Big. Yeah, it might play into the militia's hand here, having two squads behind him. Yeah. This squad here is just starting to clear uh, Neva. They got, yeah, they got to remember, the militia have a bunch of scouts, so they have extra binoculars on their side. They can see everything moving around. Exactly. That was one thing I was going to mention with uh, doing these ops, being a squad lead or command on these ops. There is the fog of war, which you need to watch out for. 
Um, there's a lot of misinformation that might be thrown around or just informa this, uh, intelligence you don't know about. You don't know that there is a enemy squad to your west. You don't know that there's an also there's also an enemy squad to your east. So you're putting yourself in a position that might be uh, a horrible one for you in a couple seconds, but you have no clue. Yeah, I'm saying if you... Yeah, they can definitely, militia can definitely hear those MTLBs. I think they're just getting getting ready for the right, right time to launch their wolf pack on them. Yeah, I think at this moment, it's not in the militia's favor, just depending on the terrain. They have a big open field that they would have to cross before hitting them from the east. And then the Western force have the bridge to have to, that, that they would have to I deal think with. So they rocks. might wait, and it like might be too late. The rocks let's or not, let's see how it goes. It looks like there's two guys over there, but I'm afraid to shoot because I don't know if they're actually people. Yeah. I think. So I'm just watching the Russian column pulling south. So a successful bridge crossing. The militia are kind of just stalling, watching them go. But remember, the militia have mobility, so it. It really doesn't matter that much that they uh, that they didn't um, go straight into contact here to contest the bridge. Rear security as well. Uh, if we're gonna get hit, it's gonna they be you guys. They can easily just pull around from another direction, just uh, expose a flank, and do massive amount of damage from there. Do you want us to the north? Of so what's happened, Squad Three then? Cause we're here. Three, start to move south. Yeah, I guess. Where's that MTLB? Is it still at Radio Tower? I'm not seeing the MTLB. No, I got eyes on the MTLB. Yeah, I-966. Go ahead and start moving techies in too. Pushing them up right behind the infantry. Okay. So, they okay, so definitely you see you the MTLBs to trying to cross to this uh, ridge line. Um, it's very difficult terrain for these MTLBs. They're very wide um, vehicles, so they get caught on trees, caught on rocks a lot. And uh, being a track vehicle in the game currently, it's pretty difficult to just maneuver around heli terrain. They slip and slide a lot. So we've got Militia Command pulling out orders to uh, hit this force from the rear. You see the squad just moving out now, crossing the, uh, the open ground. Burns, I got us for you now across the river. Oh, wrong sorry, cops. wrong cop. All, all good. GLB. Okay, so there, Juliet 9-4. Yeah, no, Juliet 9-4, I-9-6, like, that area, Seven. moving south. I know what it looks like. Pretty soon. Somebody got out of the SPG techie. All right. Yeah. So it looks like, what do you think? What do you think about hitting Saloniki from the northeast? That looks like that's what the Russian plan is now. Well, it can go one or two ways. If they don't have enough, um, if militia doesn't have enough defenses built up or enough infantry there, they could probably get in there pretty quick. Um, they got that mortar up, Russia does, so they could use that to suppress the town and get the troops in there. But I'm, I, you know, we being on the outside looking at this unfolding, I'm a little worried about their, their rear flank. It does look like the Russians have some rear security, which is good to see. But there's two squad, squads behind them with all the techies. So it'll be, yeah. it'll be interesting. They get If Russia does do it, they got to get in there quick and flip the script on them so that they can take up the defenses. Yeah, I agree with that. This train is so difficult to uh, move quickly through while main maintaining security i i haven't heard of the militia uh mortar pop off if they built one or not so maybe yeah. they're just waiting to draw them in and then mortar mortar beat them down while they're up in the hills yeah see that's exactly what i would do if i knew that let's say if that they were crossing that bridge and uh i like i i would have a force to contest it i would definitely put down mortar on the bridge and on the enemy side 
but it looks like they just let them take that bridge, let them get set up on this, this hilly terrain, and then uh, they might use that mortar against them. So, yeah, coming in from station? the northeast, we're watching the Russians move in to, to their southwest towards Soloniki. That's to uh, my cent the center of my screen now. It's very hilly terrain, very rocky. Um, the Russian infantry will do fine, but these yeah, MTLBs are going to have a difficult time trying to traverse this terrain and trying to get into good firing positions. Copy you can that. watch one now, just try and make its way up a hill. Twenty rounds in order. Hey, firm. Let's uh, save them unless we need to now. Hold, hold, hold the push. I see a uh, enemy contact. Red. Uh, red fucking train car, 080 for my position. Looking at the bridge. A firm, eyes on. I see them crawling underneath. I'm just gonna hide down. Okay, well, they just spotted contacts on the train bridge. Yeah, those, that was that lat with his buddy out there. Still trying to hold down that yeah, approach. Before. See, I thought he was gonna take a mortar earlier, but it hasn't looked right, like they have been engaging those here. guys on, uh, on the train bridge. Okay, it looks like they are now, so let's see how this, uh... Oh, and the wolf packs are spawning that. We got some techies coming up on the north side of the train bridge now, too. Okay, yeah, I can see him coming on my screen. Okay, here come the mortars. Ooh, that was close. That first one hit the bridge, just uh, pretty close to the first guy. Ashy injured him, so. So who is this? That was Dermo who got hit. I'm pulling back. That's what I. They're getting hit hard. All right, so we're gonna basically take this winding road south. Even though we use it everywhere. We're muted. We're gonna just wrap around. So I quite like this um, methodical push yeah, on the DSI. Yeah, we see our They're using the mortar to, uh, to their advantage a lot. Yeah, we are. Um, at the start of the round, you saw that the militia had a lot of positions on the side of the river, on the uh, train bridge, on this rock formation that I'm looking at at the moment. Um, but they just use some mortars efficiently and just push those troops out. And they've all just rotated back to their defense, uh, their, uh, their location here on Saloniki. So it's pretty, pretty slow, but very methodical. It's going to work in a uh, Russian's favor. Negative, have them hold that bridge. If we see the infantry pull off the bridge, they're going to push them. Have you seen any infantry in the first mortar, Mark? Now we can see that the mil that militia squad on north uh, the Up north the side of the Russians, uh, the one that right, then, they were uh, commanded to uh, attack from the north, it sounds like they uh, are just in a position now, just on the low ground from the Russian uh, position. Let's see if they make a move. Okay, we're still getting ready in a line. Three and one. So when you're ready, you start walking. I can in. hear Techie behind me. Now those techies are a lot more quiet, a lot quieter than a uh, MCLB. So if you're near an MCLB, you're not going to hear anything else moving around you. You're not going to hear the enemy techies. You're not going to hear enemy infantry walking up to you. So let's see how well this goes. I don't know where I am anymore. Yeah, the Russians have been methodical, but the militia has kind of held back. They're, they're, I think they're waiting for the opportune oh, moment, which is taking a lot of discipline. They've had a lot of opportunity to engage with small arms from distance, but they haven't. They're ba I think they're baiting the Russians into exposing themselves here in this field. Yeah, I can see kind of a noose forming. I mean, though it it doesn't look like the militia would have like a, a direct upper hand over the uh, the Russians from their uh, rear, but if the Russians push into this field, which looks like that they are, they could turn badly Major real quick. Five, six, two, copy that, three, you know, I just that, noticed that the militia has, right, are, is that right? Oh no, they, they do. <laughs> I had to do my highlights. I was like, I didn't think they had anybody on the fob, <laughs> but they do. 
It's going down, though. It is going down. Russians are in an open field. Two MTLBs trying to push this difficult terrain, and they're about to get engaged. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Let's see what happens. So still being smart with these mortars. Oh, an MTLB just got hit. Alright, big engagement now. Well, let's just still have that force behind the Russians. Alright, that force. Oh, there we go. There we go. You got a militia techie engaging MTLB from the rear. And he's oh, reloading. Oh, had no. To reload. oh, no. But they got lad on that hill. Oh, no. Oh, come on, come on. Nah, he got hit by a uh, RPG there. Whoa. That was quick. That techie went uh -oh, down. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Techie right, right in the middle of them here. Alright, it is a mess here in the open. That SPG techie just made work of that MTLB. Now it's driving away. Hit and run, hit and run. Yeah, each MTLB have been hit pretty hard. Oh no. I'll get you one in a sec. Command, can we go and now the MTLB is chasing that Dishka Techie. Oh, no, I mean the SVG. They're using the MTB quite well on the north side, just suppressing this militia force on its rock formation. Um, but they they are still there in force. The enemy are still there in force, so... I know one MTLB has been hit by at least one lat, maybe... Um, Injured by a uh, heavy gun. You Second MTB has That's definitely been move? hit by a, another heavy gun, so. Who's got I really go. They're pushing to town as well. It's been it's anybody alive who has an ADHD? Yep, they've got a nice and switch going on. It's angling towards us. Reloading. Oh, yeah, she's dead. Yeah, they're all over there. We're reloaded. Blood. If anybody's got that, whoever's got that IED. I don't know if that was a hit. I think that was a hit. We're like a miss. Miss. Yeah, yeah, it's a miss. miss for sure. Infantry on the God, that I think that scout died. Who had that ID? That would be a perfect. Ooh, that was close. That yeah, SPG no, tech, he's doing a lot of damage. Yep, yep, yep. There goes a MCLB in the south. They Second lost MCLB one. Second MCLB got hit by enemy lat. Good shit. A okay, okay. Do, SPG. Do they have lats. They do have lats. And it shit. goes down. No, no, it is not. Yes, move in on the infantry. I need you. Most of were a little cheeky too. They put their their MTLB inside the defense point. The mortars are doing a lot of work though in town. Definitely keeping the uh, the enemy pinned in their uh, chosen houses. Yeah. Yep. Definitely. So we, we still got one to get to close. Deal with. Even killing guys around their courtyard, so it's really uh, scaring the militia now. So how do you think it's looking, expert? I think the militia needs to get on their horses and get in here. They're on the outside. Yeah. 
Russians have a lot of assets that they're using on this town. They still have one more MCLB up. They're using their lats, they're using their GLs on the windows. It's doing a lot of damage to the uh, the militia defenders, but they are being hit in the rear by the uh, the guys that are to their east. Ooh, that was a hard lot. It's a good frag round. Give you an overview of what's going on here. We've got two militia elements on the outside. There goes an IED. We've got Russian just swarming Soloniki and only a few defenders left in here. Well, I'm watching um, Militia Command. Oh, he just went down. Grenade into the building was the end of him. That's Shadow Richard. Shadow Ritual down by a uh, Russian grenade. So there's no easy way to do it. They're going to have to push into these buildings and clear them out one by one. Yeah, and they look like they're doing a pretty good job of it, too. Yeah, definitely. I'm seeing a lot of militias, uh, militia men down on the north side of the, uh, the village. And then a skirmish happening on the north side of town. Uh-oh, Russian command's getting engaged. Okay, he's defending himself pretty well. Here is Russian command. He just got jumped by one militia member. Managed to take down the guy, but uh, got hit in the process. Let's see if he... Uh, it looks like he's defending himself pretty well. They pushed back, so... Scary LaRue. So they've had a small engagement around here. LaRue pushed up um, and he has a small uh, fire team behind him. It looks like they've done quite a good job just pinning this militia force on this rock formation here to the east with an AR. You can see here and a GL. Wow. That's not a good position to be in. So they're pinning that, that large or quite a large force of uh, militia on that uh, rock formation there. Well, one militia guy was left in here, but he got stopped by six Russians with grenades. Yeah. They've got, Russia's got numbers inside the village now of Soloniki. Yeah, I'm uh, pretty surprised. They, they haven't found this MTLB that's sitting down here in the sandbags, yeah, though. Yeah, let's so go, boys. It'd be a nasty surprise for me. On, let's go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can see that. They just found the radio. That's where the MCLB is hidden. Oh, that was an excellent nade that took down two guys and vanishing now. Yeah, silent death went down on that nade. That was sightless, this grenade. It looks like it's just sightless, a... Um... A militia squad lead defending the fob with a MTLB. He has a dish gun placement, but the Russians are on the north side of the uh, compound. Three rounds remaining. One out. All right, slow down a little bit. GLs and mortars are doing a lot of work. Last more strike. Yeah. Ready mission. 
Mortar's currently pinning down a building that's been engaging the Russians from their uh, southwest. One AR was ma uh, managed to take down, I think, one Russian while he pushed down the opener, maybe two guys. No, nah, it looks like just one. And was hit by a GL. All right, we still have a militiaman up on this uh, house to the southwest of the uh, militia fob. The enemy squad lead Sightless is still up defending that fob with his MTLB in support. It looks like the Russians are bringing up the MTLB on the western side. They angered that MCLB inside the uh, militia compound. Yeah, unfortunately, it's hitting Hisco. It's not able to get an angle in the other MTLB over here. Yeah. But the Russians are smoking off this compound. They're getting ready to push here. Okay, we're getting Russian mortars down. Let's see where they're going to go. I might be hitting the house that uh, has that one militia man in. Hmm. Russia's backed off. I think they're trying to drop some mortars in here for one last. Yeah, they're landing. Yeah, it looks like they have just run out of mortars. But yeah, I don't think it hit any, uh, any uh, target there. Looks like it just went in an open field. Yeah, it's weird. This... This Russian uh, team up here to the north of this fob is just waiting. Oh no. That IED ended up damaging their own MTLB. Yeah. Whoever, whichever scout that was on the militia side needs to think about um, if there's enemy contacts there or damaging vehicles or friendlies nearby. The Russians can see that MCLB burning. And here they go. I've got my second fire team coming back you guys I'm up. Going around the other way. We're going to flank you around for these. This guy on my uh... I'm going to drop Wow. That uh, the militia Dishka. There goes Sightless. Yeah, that was Took down a couple compound. guys, but that's a uh, solid push into that compound. Got a few militias still pushing up on the outside here. All right, I'm watching a, uh, looks like a militia medic alone in this small house here. He's already been engaged. There's a Russian MTLB just uh, to his northeast. Pretty tense moments for this guy. He he knows that the, the Russians are taking down his fob. He needs to defend this village. But there's not much a medic can do from this position. So we got Kennet 
And I think it's foe in uh, the MCLB. Uh, they have not we noticed uh, who's this game master in the house here. Oh, well, that could be bad. Yeah, he's not going to do any damage to the MCLB, but he's probably going to take down a couple of Russians. Now, looks like the Russians have just taken down a fob and are firing at some militia positions to the southeast. Enemy, enemy contacts southwest of my position, direct west, moving to direct south. Yep, Russians are calling them out. They're seeing these guys down here in the far distance. It looks like they're going to counterflank them. They got a Russian fire team coming up behind them. It's not looking good for a militia anymore. Looks like we got a couple guys getting close here. We're back in the village again. One of the things about this uh, op is that you can steal the other vehicles, and it looks like the Russians have manned the militia's MTLB that was on fire. Oh, nice. Okay. So now they have two MTLBs again. So, yeah, that's one thing to note. Even when a vehicle's on fire, you can uh, can still use it. You just need to wait for uh, stop burning. And we've uh, been testing this in a couple of ops now, where the enemy team can steal the other side's vehicles, and it's been uh, it's been working out great. Just brings a interesting dynamic to the gameplay yeah russians see the militia force to the southeast of their compound they have noticed they have noticed the militia force and uh, looks like they have just come in from the uh, rear and taken out quite a few of them they're just going to mop up the rest. There we go. Hey, from 12-4, we need you on here. Copy There's down. contacts on us. Need you on here. Copy There's contacts on us. Contacts on us. Phoenix, watching your rob. East, but... Just watch your guys in east. Looks like that medic, oh, just going to mention him, he just died. Looks like he claimed one victim before going down. Pretty sad state. Alright, well that's Russian command just going down. The guy who killed him just died to a grenade, so... Yeah, the Russians have just confirmed that kill. That's uh, Russian command's body there. Lost a little gunfight with uh, these two militiamen. Well, this is the last man standing, it looks like. Lone Scout. Him and his SKS are going to take on the Russian army. So this is Turtle Guy. Who is the scout? Oh no, it's Iron Fist. Iron Feast.
around. Have a good night. Goodbye. Ooh, okay, that lat was real close. We had a lat fired by Yanga Master. Uh, nearly hit Iron Feast. Looks like I injured him. Well, they know where they're, he's at now. Yep. It'll be really difficult for him to cross this, uh, this terrain without getting hit. So the Russians have a uh, control on this compound. And they they only know that there is one uh, militiaman to their east. We've only seen that one guy, which looks like the last man standing. So I'm just looking at how many Russians are still up. They only lost 22 men in that attack, while the militia lost 36. And goes another lad towards that last guy. Iron Feast is kind of uh, just pinned. Hey, he's making a move now. We got Kenneth there in command of one of the MCLBs. Rainbow, how are you doing, Evan? Okay, I'm, I'm fine. fine. MCLB, can you hold positions? Bait, I'm gonna move the fire team up. I'm move the fire team up to you. There you go. They just brought a they their captured militia MCLB up to a firing position to watch that last guy. It's pretty much just overkill from now on. This guy has near to zero chance. Oh, he's he's engaging. So they don't see the militiaman. They don't see this outline that's on my screen. He's just behind that rock there. So, uh, oh, and there he goes. Just got flanked. And that's it. GG. Well, that was an interesting round for sure. Yeah, it was. Looked like it would go, uh... In the malicious favor, especially when they uh, commenced that big assault across that field. Looked like it was going to be, yeah, looks like it was going to be a malicious uh, chance to win that one and hold on to the fob, but uh, Russian maneuvers and the mortars and all the fire support helped them out and were pushing into the, uh, the fob position. Yeah.
All right, well, that was round one, guys. That was only round one of Rice and Ghosts. We're going to be coming back. Uh, the guys are going to change sides. So the guys who are on the militia get to try out the Russians now, and the Russians get to be the militia. Uh, one of the special things in this op was because uh, the militia lost Soloniki, they have to defend uh, Akim in the next round. So we the, the combat should be focused up there, and... It'll be, we'll see how they, uh, the Russians do it this time. Do they use the bridges to the north? Do they use the middle bridge again? Uh, and we'll see how the militia maneuvers with all their uh, mobile assets. If you're interested in checking us out, we're at squadops.gg. Uh, if you got any questions, post it up in chat. I am watching it. Yeah, round one was about two hours, it seemed like, but it was maybe about an hour and 15 minutes. So anyways, just tune back in. We are coming back. Round two should be pretty exciting. So, uh, got anything, Satan? Any parting words before round two? I'm just excited to see how this uh, second round goes. It's uh, it's a pretty new dynamic, just giving like the losing side a uh, kind of... It, it might not be a worse position for them to be in a Kim, but it, it does mean that the Russians will know that they are, they are up there. So, they're going to have to be on their toes for this. All right, so. guys, we'll be back. So go get those energy drinks, popcorn, or whatever else you got. Uh, come back and watch round two.